Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to place a watermark on your PDF, MS Office, images, documents uh, using React. All right, so what I have in front of me, I have a React sample. So whether you're a React sample, it's something that we've kind of been working with and building up on this playlist. Uh, you can kind of go ahead and check out the other video on our channel, how to do other functionality in PDF um, with PDF's MS Office in React. Um, so right now I just have the app uh, downloaded and I installed all the dependencies. Now it's up and running and pretty much on my local 3000, I see the PDF here. Now by default, there's a PDF on uh, watermark. Uh, this is because we're running in the demo mode. And by the way, this is the only demo limitation. There's no kind of time trial or expiry. Really want to make sure that you test it out, you build it, you make sure it's working for you exactly the way you want it. Now, let's go ahead and place our own custom watermark and I'll show you kind of different options available. Now, all this information is not available just from the YouTube videos, but it's also available if I just go ahead uh, directly onto the pdftron.com slash documentation for web. And you can actually use this handy search and I just search for kind of watermarking. And there's different ways, like we can watermark videos using JavaScript, uh, watermark PDFs and a couple other things. And there's a few different ways to do it. So let's go ahead and just kind of copy this sample right here. Uh, kind of goes directly inside of the kind of the callback function that gets called when the web viewer promise results. We can kind of go ahead and uh, paste it on line 16 to 17. And then, you know, here's what I'm expecting to happen. We're setting the watermark and we're setting it diagonally. Uh, and then we're also kind of placing a header and we're kind of calling it uh, watermark and center watermark. Okay, great. So it should be in red using sans serif font with the different levels of opacity. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look what happened. Oh, okay, perfect. So we have diagonal, we have the left, we have the center. Let's see what happens when we uh, add the right watermark. Okay, great. So I added the right watermark as well. And we have the watermark here. Maybe let's bump up the font sizes on those. I want it to be a little bit more prominent maybe. Uh, 15, yeah, that's, that's much better. Uh, and then kind of let's bump up this one. Well, I want to double. And instead, uh, we can just say PDF Tron. Okay, great. Yeah, that, that looks really good. Um, we can control the opacity and a couple of things. You know, I don't actually like red. I think, um, you know, red is too aggro. So let's just go ahead and set it to green. Just a little bit kind of neutral. And as we can see that it went ahead and kind of places the watermark on every single page. Now, some of you might be asking, hey, is this just a simple DOM overlay? Uh, can the user kind of easily go back and remove it? Well, uh, the watermark is actually gets embedded during kind of the render process. And the rendering happens inside of the workers. So we're kind of opening and reading the blob or kind of wherever your file is coming from. It could be on you know, Azure storage, it could be AWS bucket, it could be like Dropbox box, anything. Um, then we'll open up the file and as we're reading it in and we can kind of stream it in to increase performance and user experience, um, that's when kind of gets embedded directly into that image that we're rendering out to the user. Uh, so we're kind of drawing it on the canvas together. So there's no way to remove it. So if I kind of go ahead and inspect this page, this is all I get. There's no specific kind of way to toggle this watermark out of the document, which is quite handy. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos just like this by subscribing to our channel. Thank you.